Hey Bert, how are you? I like your uh, your new channel, and I also like that you have uh, uh, allowed yourself to uh, open new channels, open new uh, trains of thought and ways to communicate. Um, essentially, uh, you seem that you're, you're you freed yourself to recreate yourself, which is fantastic. I wish uh, wish I would have known that was okay when uh, I was younger. You know, it's okay now. But uh, I often think uh, that if I have regrets, uh, my major ones would be um, just wish I would have figured things out quicker. I mean, things take the time that they take, but I think that you could also focus on, uh, on what you want and what you want to bring about as far as change in yourself or uh, change around you. Um, so, yeah. You you found out you found out something early that it took me a long time to learn. So, hats off to you. So I thought we'd talk about Zen, and uh, I think for me, uh, my Zen, my, the Zen of uh, the Zen of uh, ear Zen, is what it is. Zen of listening. And uh, listening especially, especially to yourself, to listening to me. You don't have to listen to me, I mean listen to you. Um, though sometimes, I was thinking, sometimes people say stuff that it seems to me that like, like that doesn't make sense to me, or I don't, I don't agree with that. But I don't, uh, I don't dismiss it and just cast it aside. And I think I've had some uh, some pretty amazing victories because of that, of remembering some words people have passed on to me, words that I didn't agree with, and maybe I got something completely different, a different message entirely. Uh, this glass, for instance, it's a jar, like a jam jar, and uh, I often my my uh, my cupboards are often filled with uh, like recycled glass or. Uh, plates or silverware that I find, um, even, actually I'd say 90% of all my cookware I found, and uh, someone said that, uh, Earl, you have, you have a kind of a poverty mentality, don't you? I should, as a matter of fact, you should see the sweet jacket I found in the trash. God, it's awesome. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that really fast. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Come on. This is a great trench coat. Don't I look good in it? <laughs> yeah, I found it in the trash. I thought that was very cool. Um, but they said that about poverty mentality, and I'm like, I don't think I have poverty mentality. What's that all about? But you know, I listened to it, and I didn't forget it. Um, and then I think I, I think I know what they were talking about. It's not necessarily uh, that I have it, but I know that it exists, and I know why it exists, and I know what it might represent to me, or how I would have reacted maybe to uh, um, people wanting like nice dishes for company or something like that. You know, I, I actually I would be proud to break out uh, my recycled the jam jars if you came over for a glass of wine. You'd be drinking out of a jam jar. Ah, uh, because I think I think you'd appreciate the uh, the value, the function, and then the idea that uh, all my dishes and uh, pots and pans can either go on recycling or uh, back to Salvation Army or whatever. Oh, I wanted to tell you about. Uh, oh, I have no ashtray. What shall I do? I'll put it down there by the bird pooper. Um, I want to tell you about something that happened to me that um, I was kind of embarrassed about at the time. Um, I actually, I was kind of embarrassed that this person made the observation, and I didn't first, about me. Which is where about, you know, listening to yourself and also listening to others, uh, why I think it's so important. I was, uh, 
I was breaking down. I was uh, we were having I was having some drinks with a friend of mine, and I was kind of breaking down things that uh, were on my mind. And this person said, uh, "Man, you're complaining a lot," and just kind of just, just dropped it like that. And I didn't take it as a criticism. I don't think they meant it as a criticism. Um, it actually, it took me back, and so I actually listened to what I was saying about what I was complaining about. And, uh, you know, a complaint, an obstacle, a problem, um, all those things should show you uh, solutions. Um, I think problems are good. If only because the solutions are so wonderful. So, uh... I was like, well, yeah, this person's right. Actually, uh, a couple of things I was complaining about, I've been cl complaining about for a long time. So, uh, what, uh, how come solutions aren't appearing? And uh, I realized the solution was to extract myself from uh, this uh, circle of misery that I put myself in. Um, I was involved in things that I didn't like or appreciate or was it really never going to bring me any kind of benefit. Um, and that's kind of, that's actually what did it for me. And suddenly I realized, well, what am I here for? And I suddenly realized, nowhere. I'm just treading water. I'm treading uh, icky water as well. So I knew it was okay to recreate myself. Um, I, uh, I took all my dishes and glass out to the recycling. Uh, through gave away stuff uh, and uh, and started over, started fresh, and uh, started from scratch. And what a wonderful thing that is to know that uh, that I could do it. Uh, I'd have never really done it before. And uh, and what a wonderful thing that was for that person to say that you know, like, man, you're you're really complaining about these things. Um, what's the solution? And, uh, yeah, and then I found one. You know, in, in many cases, like, problems just don't go away. Like, for instance, I'm never not going to have problems at work. Um, but when I have problems at work, I ask myself, what am I here for? What is, what is the goal? And I see clear goals. I see, uh clear attainable goals that benefit me, that enrich my life, and are going to bring me more of what I want. So uh, then I just, then automatically solutions appear. So it's up to me to take advantage of them. I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to say. And I think when I said it needed to say, like, uh, um, I'm really happy about uh, YouTube and that I could hear my words over from last week to a year ago and uh, help me listen to what's on my mind, uh, what I'm focused at, uh, what bothers me. Um, and then uh, make informed choices about my future based on uh, the sounds coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Hopefully they're going in my ears. All right, Bert, uh, pleasure catching up with you, and uh, yeah, see you in the tubes.